Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So yes, the crafting event started today guys, so let's take a look on this first part on how to do the event. I will divide first of all in two parts, the first one will be just the start of the event and once I complete the first rocket, I will show you uh, what it would look like, you know, and how do you do it at the end uh, once I finish it. Uh, just some minor things. They change it three very big things on this, um, you know, on this crafting event. So while I will be talking about how to do it, uh, I will be talking about that as well. Okay, so let's just start. So once you hop in into the game, you will be able to just join matches. And that's the first thing that you need to do, guys. Just join your first match. Uh, with that, uh, once you actually go to the actual important parts, you will already have the base, um, like factory level, and also the first box, okay? Probably, depending on how much points you will get it. But once you play the first match, then you go to the workshop over here. So you will click right here. And here you have some of the materials that you will receive. We're going to talk about that later. But the first thing, go to the factory down here. After the first match, you will receive this base lef level factory, okay? And after each 2,500 of these mission points, you know, the mission points that are inside the match, you will get one of these boxes, okay? Once you open them, you can actually get them. You will see that they are right here as well. You see them right here. You can open there as well. You will open them. And once you open them, you will get some materials, as you see. And with these materials, you can start to build the bomb, okay? The objective is to complete the bomb. That's the main thing. So, um, I'm going to show a little bit how to do it. So, you got a little bit of these boxes. Uh, each box that you open, you will get a certain amount of, um, you know, materials. Uh, the first one was a lot more, for example. This one was a lot less. And you will get these materials and you use them, each of it, uh, to build this one. If you don't have the materials, you will not be able to produce them. If you have them, it will appear like this and you can just click to produce it and it will take normally 16 minutes to build it. So let's wait for this um, to actually continue the video. Okay, so just recap, go to the battles, you will get each 2,500 points one of these boxes and with these boxes you open them, get the materials and build the parts. That's pretty much it at the start. But remember, this has a multiplier to it. So, for example, if you play in a rank 8 in an aircraft in RB, it will get more points, I mean, it will be easier to get the 2,500 points. It's not going to count as 2,500. You will get like, I don't know, for example, 1,500 and for the game with the multiplier, it will count as 2,500 and you will get the box. So, uh, the higher the rank that you play and the higher uh, the difficulty of the mode the, that you play, the more boxes you get. Second thing, something that they actually change it in the crafting event for this year, simulator battles can be played to get these boxes, okay? So, yeah, this is a very interesting one. Second thing is that, no, you cannot sell them right from the get-go. You can read right here, but basically they're saying that if you have these parts over here and you want to sell them because you can sell them normally in crafting events, you need to get at least two of the missiles, you know, two testing, after testing two missiles, I mean. Uh, so once you actually test two missiles, you will be able to trade these materials in the market. So right now you basically cannot buy them as well because nobody is actually selling them. You can even go to the market over here while we wait for there. Um, and you will see that there is basically nothing in the market for, for us to buy. So go to War Thunder over here, component. And it's basically just this thing that I will talk about it later, right? Uh, but yeah, there's not much you can you know, uh, do about it. So uh, you have to test two missiles, complete this whole process two times, uh, like two times and to actually be able to sell them. Okay. So this is the um, thing. Let's just wait for these um, minutes over here uh, so that we can continue uh, the video. Okay.
So it's finish it as you see we can click on finish it it will uh, once you actually finish the the actual thing right it appears this thing that you can read a little bit about it it tells a little bit of the history about the uh, the actual rocket which is very very cool actually and as you see I completed the first line okay so this is what you need to do build four lines of each of these ones so let me build this one and this one and I gotta build one more here 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 one 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 you know four 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 once everything is completed on this it's 16 of them you will be able to click on here to actually build the Tokushu Haiki okay once you build it you can actually test it out and you will have a problem in the game I will go into more details on that on the second part of the like this two videos you know or the, on the second video uh, because I really want to show to you guys uh, as quickly as possible how to do this and of course uh, it will take a little bit of time for me to grind this thing um, as you know I need to grind this as well as you guys need to um, too, right so uh, yeah I need to grind it to actually test it out and show how the event ends but pretty much you just need to build every single part build the actual missile and then you will be able to do a mission uh, that it's just testing it uh, to see what is wrong with it there will be a problem with it and if you identify what the problem is it will get three more boxes if you don't or if you miss identify it you will get only one more boxes for the next missile and then after that you basically get uh, one of these ones that you need target destruction report so you will have half of the test report that you need to actually get the vehicles okay um, how do you get the other half well it's basically playing as well um, each 7,500 points, you will get one of these. Remember, these have multipliers as well. But each 7,700 points without the multipliers, you will get one of these. Once you get 20 of these, you can uh, basically assemble this development progress report. And together with the test that you did and this uh, develop development progress report, you will finish up the test report once you finish up the test report you will have one of the test reports needed for the three of the main prize vehicles or the only one that you need for the ki-48 as well so remember just recapping you play the game each 2500 points you get a box you open these boxes with these materials you build 16 of these parties parts you build the missile, test the missile, identify what's the problem with the missile. Uh, then you get the, the, the actual testing report, right? The target destruction report. Each 7,500 uh, 7, points, you get one of these. 20 of those, you get one of these. You use these together with the test report over here that you will get from this one to build one of these. Do this three times and you can... Uh, order one of the vehicles okay and the final change that they did with the crafting event is that you can get actu actually get a lot more boxes this time meaning that you can actually get two of the main prizes so you can get six of these ones with that you can get three using three of one of the main prizes and three for uh, one of the others that you want so there is that that you can do if you want to get the um two vehicles or or one or more vehicles at least right and another minor thing that it's not that important uh you can see the target destruction report that you do here this is when you test the missile you know and this is when you progress with this you combine the two of them you get one two of them exchange for a vehicle and one minor thing that you can do as well it's not a major thing but you can do uh, once you are actually at the first of a match you know you are in the leaderboard as a first you know you killed the most people and stuff and you you are the first on the team you will get one of these boxes if you have 25 of them you can exchange for this one level one factory upgrade and if you have 50 of them you can exchange for the level two factory upgrade this only means that the building um, of these vehicles and uh, the, this missile will be faster. That's only that, okay? Uh, so it's not 
like instead of taking 12 hours, it will take uh, six hours in this case of this one and um, an hour and a half, I think, for this one or something like that. Uh, or one, uh, I think it was one hour and a half or 30 minutes. I don't remember, but uh, still, uh, you can basically bypass a little bit of the waiting time for building the actual missile, okay? But that's just for it. It doesn't mean anything. My tip for you guys is to assemble one of these and sell them on the market. They are normally pretty valuable uh, because people like to buy them for some reason. But um, yeah, uh, but yeah, guys, basically this is it. It's quite complex, but you just keep, keep clicking, you know, keep mounting the rockets, keep doing this. And as I said, once I actually finish the first rocket, I will show to you guys how the event actually ends. So be aware of part two of the video, okay, guys? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Hopefully it was clear enough. It is kind of a lot of things to talk about. But yeah, just remember that there is three differences from the original crafting events. First of all, you can fly in simulator battles, which is something that you couldn't do. Uh, second is that you need to wait uh, for the second missile that you test to actually be able to start selling these materials if you want to. And the third thing is that you can actually get a lot more of the crates so you can get two main vehicles instead of just one that normally the crafting events had it. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and leave it in the comments what you are thinking about the event. Bye guys. See you.